May is Police Memorial Month, and the LAPD is mourning the recent losses of three officers. Today, the department held a somber ceremony to remember officers who have fallen in the line of duty going back to the early 1900s. CBS 2's Dave Lopez was there. Family members of the fallen LAPD officers clutched a red rose. Others wore the ID tags of the ones they loved and lost in the line of duty. My father. Your father. Yeah, 1951. You come back every year? Yes. Come every year. Does it help? It sure does. It was a somber occasion, but then again, it always is. The LAPD memorial ceremony held every year during National Police Week. 1907, policeman Clyde A. May. Officers who have been killed in the line of duty, 1907 until last weekend. Now sometimes it seems like it's just too much to bear. A reference by the chief to the fact that three officers have been killed in traffic accidents in the last eight weeks. We are placing street signs remembering each officer near where they lost their lives or near where they served. And those street signs were unveiled. Eventually there will be 207 street signs placed all over the city, marking where police officers lost their lives in the line of duty or at the police stations and where they served. The one behind me honors Officer Edward Wilhite, killed in the line of duty at what is now 2nd and Main. I vividly remember standing there waiting for the car to stop spinning. For Chief Charlie Beck, a very emotional day. At Southeast Station, a bench named in honor of police officer James Choquette. That officer died in the arms of Beck after a traffic accident in 1979. As a young police officer, those kind of things never leave you. The chief comforted Choquette's widow, his two grown children, and the grandkids that he never saw. The pain never goes away. Now it, it dulls and it, and it gets less intense. And those who grieve take comfort in the fact that their LAPD family is always there for them. From downtown Los Angeles, Dave Lopez, CBS 2 News.